started out, he was kind of bland. He just wore these red trunks and a red jacket. Come on, tough guy. Wow. You wanted to come back to without a cause, so get in this damn ring. I think the dedication to the craft, he's getting to the point where he's like, I can do this. I've known Dave for about five or six years now, maybe even longer. He has a couple of different uh, characters that he portrays. I saw him at a Lucha Libre Volcanica show probably about eight years ago. He's evolved into this monster with the, the sheet mask and his face paint and the chest protector. He's like a full-blown character that people can really get behind. I'm the Black Sheep Dave Turner everywhere I go. So the Black Sheep character kind of, or, or the name came from the fact that for a long time I was not very well received. The overall perception was this guy doesn't work that hard. He doesn't put in that much effort. But I was working and wrestling a lot more than everybody else. And a friend of mine said to me, you're really kind of the black sheep of the Northwest. And I said, well, that's really cool. Like, I like the way that sounds. It was a way for me to get my frustrations as a human being in this business out in a way, in a creative way where people go, is he for real? No, this is wrestling. Like, that's, he's just messing around. Like, that's not real. Part of it was very real. Now the Black Sheep's just kind of the brand that I've built for myself. It's really kind of helped me identify who I am as an individual, both in real life and in my entertainment life. Um, so it's something I keep around, but it's something I can also play with in different aspects as well. Like maybe I'm not the Black Sheep because everybody in the area doesn't like me. Maybe I'm the black sheep because I choose to live my life in a way that most other people don't agree with. I can still have just as much play with that moniker, but not have to carry that chip on my shoulder anymore. Like if you go down the road, you'll see a totally different version of who I am. I'm still the black sheep because I've just adopted that moniker, but I'm playful and fun. I wink at the camera, I shake my butt around, things like that. People are more drawn to that than they are a character that they feel like, oh, I can't really go up and touch that guy. I've been very successful in what I've done so far, just going out and going, I'm gonna just do it my way. And if it doesn't work for you, that's fine, but it's working for me, and that's really all that matters. That's really all that matters. It was only supposed to be one show. Uh, I contacted a couple of my good friends, Chris Ross and Dave Turner, and figured out, you know, why not go ahead and... It all started, I wanted to work on one show. And then it just kind of turned into this huge, huge world of independent wrestling now. I just love wrestling. Like, so it kind of just turned into like this, I'll run a show without a reason, without a cause. And it kind of just kind of went from there. Fortunately, with Max and Chris been able to build a product by just saying, screw it. I don't care anymore. We're a very professional company, uh, which is great. We, we have a lot of good word of mouth. Uh, people talk really highly of us. So sometimes we even get contacted by these names 
uh, to, on, to, to come into the show and everything, and it kind of just works out that way. Nobody looks to this area for good wrestlers, but now we've created a product where they do. To a lot of people, yeah, I am the black sheep still. I think deep down inside to me, I'm still the black sheep. I think there's a part of me deep down that always feels like he's got to fight for the acceptance of the people in this area, of the people he cares about, because nothing's ever good enough. And I can't take my foot off the gas. Because if I do, somebody else is going to take what I want. And I'll be what everybody says I was. Just the black sheep. Not worth anything. Yeah! Somebody told me a long time ago um, that you know, you have to put in your dues, you have to do this and do that, and you have to do things for so long before you'll get enough credibility to do anything else. And I lived by that for such a long time. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I'm gonna be 75 years old, God willing, and be sitting there talking about these memories with my wife. They can't pull these memories from me. So they're mine to keep, so why not do it how I wanna do it?